Hi there, I'm Christopher Albright, your church council chair, and I'm here for this week's weekly message. I wanted to ask of all of you to please continue to keep Pastor Doug and Dee in your prayers as they take some time away uh, following the loss of both of Pastor Doug's parents. I'm here to tell you this week in my message that prayer works something you may already know, and hopefully you do already know. But um, I want to thank you for all of your prayers, cards, acts of kindness uh, towards me and, and my family while I was in the hospital. And even since I've come home to sort of finish off uh, the remainder of my recuperation, I received wonderful care at the West Shore Hospital. And I'm very thankful to all of them for all that they all that they did for me. But getting back to prayer and specifically your prayers for me, I want to talk to you a little bit about the impact that that had on me. And it's not something that can be easily explained to someone, but for me, I look at Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 when it says, "And the peace of God which transcends all understanding. Brothers and sisters, I felt your prayers when I was in the hospital, and that is the closest thing I can find to really explain how it felt. I thank you for all of, all of that, uh, not only for me, but also for my family as well. Again, don't ever doubt the power of prayer. Now, just a couple of uh, announcements, a couple of things to go over with you. Um, if you do have any prayer requests, um, you can email them to Barb Hammaker uh, or to the church office. Uh, either one of them can handle uh, putting them on the prayer list. And uh, just one other, one other note on that. If you're not sure what to pray for or, or how, to, how to word it, don't worry about it. Just think of Romans 8, 26. It says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. So even if you don't have the words, just trust that your prayer will get to the right place. So anyways, um, reach out to, to Barb or to the church office, and they can, they can help you with your prayer requests. Uh, again, keep Pastor Doug and Dee in your prayers this week. Um, there is no communion uh, coming up on the March 7th service, which is this Sunday. Uh, normally, communion is served on the first Sunday of the month, uh, but there will be other opportunities for us to commune together on later dates. Uh, one other, actually a couple other announcements. One of them, Mission Central, is holding an online auction uh, from March 4th through the 7th. Um, you can go to biddingowl.com slash mission central. Again, that's biddingowl.com slash mission central. There's a lot of amazing things uh, to be had there and a, and a great uh, mission that you can support. Um, upper room devotionals are now available. The March-April upper room has arrived uh, and is available for you to pick up in the church lobby. Uh, so you can stop in and get your copy. The Lenten series, um, which is brought to you by Adam, Adam Hamilton, The Way, Walking in the Footsteps of Jesus, uh, is available in the church office. There are limited copies, so please uh, call ahead and make sure that there is a copy uh, before you stop by. Uh, it's a great way to follow along with the series and get the most out of the study. Um, Jeff Miller's Sunday School Group is also uh, uh, doing this, so if you'd like to be a part of the, the Sunday School class, you can uh, get a hold of Jeff or myself or the church office, uh, and we'll, we'll get you connected there. So thank you very much, and uh, I'd like to close with a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for when your Spirit intercedes on our behalf, even when we don't know what it is we ought to pray for. Thank you for guiding our prayers to the right places and helping those that need it the most. We pray for your, your healing hand. We pray for 
the world as it is as we deal with the pandemic. Lord, we pray that this, these vaccines are distributed as, as quickly as possible and to as many people as possible. Lord, we ask for your hand in all these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, friends.